Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cine Fashions, where we talk all things media. And though it is the first Tuesday of a brand new month, and I should be talking about my anticipated releases for May, unfortunately I just forgot about it, and so I have to do the research for that one. So I will do that one either Thursday or Sunday of this week, so check back to the channel if you want to hear what I'm picking up in the month of May. But today what we're going to do instead is look back at the month of April and go over all of the new items that I picked up. Some of these are from eBay, most of them are from Amazon, and actually Mill Creek had another box that they sent over last month. I think there's only one thing in here though, so I should have included that in Sunday's video when I was going over their May releases, but it totally escaped my mind. So I'll just open that one today instead. So let's not waste any time at all, guys. Let's dive right in to my April new movie Blu-ray and DVD haul. All right, so the box is opened up here, and I think there's only one thing in here, which is why I ended up holding off on it. I can't make a I can't make a full video on one release, and so I decided just to hold off, and I would include it in this video. However, I should have just done this on Sunday. But either way, we have here the mysteries of Bradshaw Ranch. So this is a like paranormal investigation docu series. Now I had one from them sometime last year that was something very similar to this and honestly it was not very good at all now i don't know that these are the same people at all i I'm, i don't believe they are actually but it's going to be kind of the similar thing here so aliens portals and the paranormal it talks about outside of sedona arizona where the desert's whispers meet the enigmatic hum of the universe lies a place shrouded in mystery and bathed in beauty. So Bradshaw Ranch, a paranormal hotspot. All right, so looks like for six months, there were explorers, paranormal investigators, psychics, psychics and scientists that uh, spent some time at the Bradshaw Ranch. So I guess that's what we're getting with this one. Let's see, the runtime on this is one hour and 35 minutes. Oh, so this isn't even a docuseries. This is just a straight up movie so maybe i will check this one out and see if it's any good or not but yeah this is the mysteries of bradshaw ranch definitely available if you are interested in that i should have had the information up uh so you know how much it is currently on amazon and when it comes out but thank you to mill creek for sending that over my way once again we have the mysteries of bradshaw ranch all right, so now let's move over to the items that I picked up, and I grabbed one DVD from Amazon this month, which is super rare to buy a new DVD, but this was one that I realized I didn't have it in my collection. I, I have the sequel, and I have the American remake of it, but I like this movie better. This was really one of the first J-horror films that I ever watched that I remember renting from Blockbuster and just being obsessed with it. I loved it. It was so creepy to me. And that's what kind of jump-started my love for J-horror. But this is Ju On. So this is the original The Grudge. And like I said, I, I loved this when I rented this from back in Blockbuster back in the day. And I just didn't have it in the collection. So I had to correct that. And it was actually cheaper to buy it on DVD off Amazon than it was to find it used on eBay. So that's why I ended up grabbing it new. I, this is one that I think there is a Blu-ray set, but I don't believe it was ever released here in the States. I think it was an import and it wasn't terribly cheap. So I figured, you know what? I'll just stick with the DVD on this one since I have the sequel on DVD already. But yeah, such a great movie. Highly recommend this one. I think it's night and day better than the Sarah Michelle Gellar remake, but I think they're both fine, but this one is so much better. So highly recommend Juan. I guess I'll mention this here, but if you're looking for new releases from April, unfortunately in this video, there's only going to be one of those. And that is one that I talked about in my top five anticipated releases video. However, two of the five I talked about got pushed to May. So you'll see those in my May pickups. And then one of the five ended up going up in price quite a bit before I bought it. So I decided to hold off. And then the last one, I just decided I could wait for a sale on. So unfortunately, there's only one new release, but everything else here is still new items, kind of random things that I picked up. So first up, we have a William Friedkin Blu-ray. This is The French Connection. Now, if you are someone who 
follows Blue 2 pretty closely, you might remember that this one got pretty darn hard to find last year and went up in price a ton. Well, fortunately, Amazon had a, a new batch of them or whatever happened, and so they are no longer expensive. This was only $10, so I'm glad I didn't have FOMO back then and sp spend a ridiculous amount of money on it. But this is, I, I believe, like has the best transfer that's available to date. And when, the, I forget what service it was on, but it was streaming somewhere, and I think that ended up getting censored in some way. Because of that, everyone wanted this Blu-ray because it was the only way to get it uh, uncensored, at least the best way to get it uncensored. So I, I decided to hold off on it then, which I'm glad I did, and grabbed it now for only 10 bucks. So a really good price on it. And there is quite a bit of special features on here. So I've not seen this one, but I think Damn Fool Idealistic Crusade was mentioning it. And I realized, you know, that's one I definitely want to see. So I grabbed The French Connection on Blu-ray. This next one I actually talked about in my most recent I Watch 3 vlog, and I was watching a noir in there, and that's what got me kind of on this little kick. So I picked up this Warner Archives four film noir collection that is supposed to be like the best one you can get. So we have on this one Murder My Sweet. Out of the Past, The Setup, and Gun Crazy. And from everything I've heard, Out of the Past is supposed to be one of the greatest film noirs ever made. So I cannot wait to see that. And the reason I really wanted it is because it stars Robert Mitchum, who is incredible. And I've also been here hearing really great things about The Setup. Gun Crazy is supposed to be great also. So just really a good set here from what I'm hearing. So cannot wait to dive into this one. I did get this on eBay. That's why there's this annoying sticker on the front, but it is brand new. That's why I included it in this video. Video. But yeah, should be really great when I get around to it. So happy to add this one to the collection for a very good price. The person accepted a pretty low offer, so I was very happy about that. So we have the Warner Archive 4 Film Noir Collection. Another one from eBay, but this was actually from Groove on eBay, if I'm not mistaken. But here's a movie that I saw in somebody's like full collection video on VHS, if I'm not mistaken. And I was always interested in it from then. And then I saw it again over on Neil's movie channel while he was doing his collection. This is Sean Connery in Outland. So this just looks very interesting to me. I don't really know too much about it. Uh, from what I've heard, it's like a Western, but it's set in outer space. So that just sounds awesome. And it's Sean Connery. So that's the reason I wanted to pick this up. I'll admit, actually, when I first saw this, uh, heard about this movie, I thought it may have been an adaptation of a book series that I happened to stumble across at Second and Charles sometime earlier this year. I'd never heard of it before, but there are a ton of books in the Outland series. And it looked similar because it was like a post-apocalyptic thing. Well, unfortunately, this is not that, but I'm still very excited to check it out and uh, very intrigued to see if it's any good or not. I've heard really good things, though. So hopefully I will enjoy Outland with Sean Connery. Oh, I actually grabbed this one from Walmart randomly. I had a couple things in my cart, but I decided just to stick with this one because I know I've seen the original, but it's been so long, I don't remember it at all. So I grabbed the Hunchback of Notre Dame 2 movie collection. So this one has the original and the sequel. So like I said, I know I've seen this before, but I don't remember it at all. It's going to feel like a first time watch for me. And this is the the Disney Movie Insiders version. And so it's, you know, formally things you can only get that way. But now that they've shut that down, now you can get it through Walmart as well. So that's how I grabbed this one. And it was, I want to say like, not, it was either 10 or $14. I don't remember exactly. Somewhere in there, under 15 regardless. So yeah, very excited to check this one out. The Hunchback of Notre Dame and The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2. These next two are actually both George Lucas films that I've never seen before, but I've heard really great things about both of them. The first one here is American Graffiti, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe this was his directorial debut. So yeah, now obviously I love you know George Lucas, I love Star Wars very much, and so I figured, you know what, let's go back and see some of his earlier films. And the reason I grabbed this one is because I was watching Damn Fool Idealistic Crusade again. I was watching his 4K review of American Graffiti, and he hated it. It was apparently just a terrible transfer. The audio's awful. It's supposed to be one of the worst 4K releases of last year, and not just according to him, but according to a lot of people. And so uh, apparently this version does it better. It's not great. It's not the perfect way to see it, but it's as close as you're going to get. And so 
that's why I decided to go this route, which fortunately was only like $5 on Amazon versus the 4K route. So looking forward to checking this one out. Have heard great things. Cannot wait to see American Graffiti. And then while doing research on American Graffiti, I also discovered that he did THX 1138. And there's similar problems here where he likes to go back and tweak his old stuff. And he does that a little bit with this as well. But this was one like I just I needed to see this because I've never seen this movie before. I frankly like knew nothing about it before doing a little bit of research and figuring out what it's all about. But yeah, it's supposed to be a really well done science fiction film. It's supposed to be like a hard sci-fi movie, which I'm all about. So yeah, very excited to add this one to the collection. Finally, after all these years of, you know, just not really knowing much about what this was. Now I got to actually sit down and watch it. And I have the option to do that now, which is really cool. So another really uh, pretty darn good priced one on Amazon, uh, THX 1138. And the last one for today's video is the only new release in the lot here. We have Stigmata. So this was one that I talked about in my anticipated releases. This is a media book, which actually I'm going to open up now because I haven't gotten a chance to get around to watch this one again. I have seen this before and I remember loving it when I was in high school. So that's why I wanted to get this. I only owned this on a multi-pack DVD. And so I figured, you know what? Let's spend the bucks and get this one on this really cool looking Blu-ray. Unfortunately, it's not 4K, but... That's what you get sometimes. There is, ooh, that's a really cool J card. Hopefully I can keep that in there. There is the front of the J card and the back there. You can see hopefully some of the special features on the back there as well. But yeah, very cool J card. Definitely got to keep that one. And then there is the back. This has a very nice, like almost leathery feel to it, which is really cool. And then the inside. And here is the book itself. I'm going to guess there's probably some pictures in here I probably shouldn't be showing on YouTube. But yeah, for example, there's a good or not not for example, but here's a good one that I can show. Um, but yeah, so it's a little book on there as well, which is awesome. And then I believe this is just, yeah, the DVD in the back there. So yeah, very, very well done release. This is very nice. It just feels like high quality, which is awesome. So love that. So yeah, cannot wait to check this one out again. Like I said, I love this when I watched it in high school, but it has been a very long time since I've seen it. So if you want to hear more of my thoughts on this, definitely check out my anticipated releases. I go into a little bit more detail there, but yeah, very happy to add Stigmata on Blu-ray to the collection. All right, so there is April's stack. Not a huge pile this month, but if you follow the channel, you'll probably know that it's because I was going used crazy on eBay this past month. And frankly, I was doing it again this morning. I just, I can't stop myself. I don't know what the problem is, but uh, you'll see those hauls uh, in, the, in the coming days here. But I do have a stack of DVDs from eBay to share with you guys. And of course, disc replays. There's so many things over there I got to share yet. But yeah, anyway, let me know down in the comments below. What did you think of today's stack? Do you love these movies that I picked up? Which one do you recommend I move to the top of the list? Did you pick up Stigmata? I think that's a pretty darn unique release. So definitely one to check out if you're interested and you missed out on that Scream Factory release a few years ago. That one I think is now out of print if I'm not mistaken. So it does go for a little bit more money, which is why I decided to grab this one from MGM. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on that and anything else. And let me know what you grabbed in the month of April. But thank you guys so much for checking this one out. If you could hit that like button before you take off, I would really appreciate that. But that is going to do it. So again, thank you for watching. And before you go, I want to encourage you all to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>